Let's take a look at some of the tools on the advanced digitizing toolbar. I'm going to turn it on by going to view toolbars, advanced digitizing toolbar. It will be grayed out because I'm not in edit mode. So I'll select my layer and I'll hit the pencil button. Then the buttons come to life. So the first one is copy and move feature, but it's probably by default going to be on move feature for you. So if I click it, I can click the shape and I can move my polygon in this case, wherever I want. And I can undo that to reset it. The drop down here allows me to copy and move feature. So if I click a shape, it creates a copy and I can put it somewhere else as much as I want. And if I hit escape, that will turn that off. I'll undo that though for now. The next one in the advanced digitizing toolbar is rotate feature. So I'll select that. I'll hit my shape and I can spin it round. Now in the top right of the map canvas, we get a rotation value. So I could double click on that and type 45 and hit enter. For example, I'm going to undo that though. I'll click the shape again and we've got no snapping on. And if we turn it, if we just click the little button here, we can change the snapping. So it'll snap to every 15 degrees, 45 or whatever. Let's do it to every 15 degrees. So when I turn it, it also always turns by a specified number of degrees. So that can be quite useful depending on what you're doing. The next button is going to allow us to scale the feature. If for any reason you don't see this, you just probably need to upgrade to the latest version of QGIS. I'll click this now. I'll click the shape. If I move the cursor outside the shape, the shape's going to grow. I'll left click again and it makes it bigger. I'll undo that. I'll click the shape again and I'll move it towards the center of the shape and we get a smaller shape. And notice while you do this, there's a scaling number in the top right of the map canvas. So if I hit escape to undo this, I'll hit the shape again. I go over to the scaling box and type 1.5 and hit enter. Then I'll get a shape exactly 1.5 times bigger. So that's the first three buttons on the advanced digitizing toolbar. But just don't forget, you can always undo anything to reset it. And you need to be in edit mode to be able to do any of this.